So the story I'm going to tell uh, today is related to an animal called Alucegina sparsa. It's one of the most iconic fossils from the burrow shell. Here is one of the specimens of Alucegina. As you can see, it's very small. It's no longer than two centimeters for most specimens. Now, new material collected by the Royal Antwerp Museum uh, and using new technologies, we were able to uh, describe this animal in much greater uh, details. We identified for the first time uh, the uh, position of the head uh, on this side of the animal. And we discovered, using scanning electron microscopy uh, techniques, the presence of eyes as well as moth plates within the moth itself. Here is an animation of how we think this animal might have looked like and uh, work in its environment. The first three pairs of appendages here might have been used for feeding. Uh, in terms of relationships, this is an animal that is uh, related to modern velvet worms. And this is an example of this uh, wormy animal with legs that we still see today in tropical forests. So this is a very ancient uh, form a velvet worm that lived in marine oceans more than 500 million years ago. And at the time, uh, this, is, this was a fairly diversified group. And in this particular case, this animal was armed with spines along its body, potentially to fence predators.